1916 for a first kill. Not bad. Am I at the drop rate in solos? Oh, I'm over it now. I'm at 258 solos, guys. Hooray! We've officially passed the drop rate. Just soloing alone. Getting closer and closer to that 2x drop. Dry streak. Alright, guys. So, it's time for me to do some uh, testing here. Just because Blood Runes, as you know, I've been blowing through them like crazy. So, I'm on the verge of having to buy some, but... Uh, no matter what, I, I definitely need the Sang Staff here. I feel like this is the most important Blood Rune use item for Nightmare. Whether I'm doing it in groups or not, because it's so nice with the healing. And yeah, the Scythe, you know, it's good too, but it's it's not really that much faster than the Bludgeon, so... Yeah. Anyways, I am going to ditch the Scythe for my solos for, for now, just to see what it's like, you know, my average times. And I'm also going to bring my Trine of the Swamp instead because there's like an extra slot, you know, without my Scythe. So the idea is when I'm 4 HP uh, doing the pillars, if there's still pillars left, I'll just switch to Trine. Especially on the last phase, I usually never have to heal with a Sang Staff. Alright, so uh, as you can see in the chat here, I have 4.259 shots. I already have enough HP. I'm not even going to bother using the... Uh... Sang Staff, just gonna try it the whole way for this last pillar. I can't wait to see how many uh, Blood Runes I used. Alright, okay, let's check how many uh, Sang Charts I used this kill. 4, 2, 14, and I was using... Where was it? 4, 2, 5, 9. So, yeah, I used like somewhere between 50 to 60 charges that kill. So that's, uh, um, let's see, 60 times 3, 180 Blood Runes for this kill. I think with the Scythe and Sang combination, I think I was using like 1500 Blood Runes to kill, so I'm getting it down now to like, man, <laughs> probably 200 Blood Runes, so <laughs> that's a massive difference, like over 1000 Blood Runes less. And I don't think these kill times are going to be that much different, so I'm going to keep going, you know, I'll tell you more in like 10 kills. Oh my god, <laughs> I accidentally bludgeon spec. And I, I want to KO the uh, Parasite. <laughs> okay, what we got here? Holy shit. I just freaking sniped that Major so fast, he didn't even have time to hit me. Not even once. Good luck. Oh my god! Oh my god! Bro, bro, we did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it. Oh my god, dude! Yo, let's fucking go! Pick it up, pick it up! Go man, let's freaking go, dude. Oh, I need to teleport out actually. Holy shit. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh my god, dude. Yes. Oh, it finally happened, bro. Oh my god, dude. How many solos, bro? How many freaking solos for this thing? Oh my goodness, bro. Okay, what we got here? Wow, that's insane, bro. 283 solos. And, and how many groups? 700 and something freaking 5 minutes. Check it out. The skirt, defense wise, look at it. It's pretty bad, you know, understandably, pretty bad. Uh, but melee strength, same thing, so that's where it mostly matters. It's got one more prayer bonus in Tassets. Pretty good. Now, look at this the attack bonus, though. That's, that's very interesting. Negative 3 stab slash. Typical negative magic range for melee, fine. But look at this, 12 crush. That is sick. Look look at the tacits, right? We got higher defense, but it doesn't have any positive accuracy on any combat stats. But this skirt does. 12 crush, bro. That's so freaking good against the boss. Man, that's sick, bro. So this is going to be my new setup, bro, for uh, Nightmare, for the most part, right here. Freaking nice, man. Look at that. Crush accuracy. 151 from like a 138. God damn. Alright, let me put on my scythe too. Let me see what we got on the scythe here. Alright, scythe crush accuracy. We got 79 now. That's massive, especially for the scythe. Any accuracy... Any accuracy added to the scythe is major. Look at that. From 67 to 79. Holy crap, dude. That's freaking amazing, bro. Oh my god, that's amazing, dude. I'm just happy our first drop was actually a good drop, man. Like a really good drop, you know? 
one of the top three drops I want. You know, Maze uh, and that in the top and the bottom right there. We got the bottom. This is the best thing I got right now for the price. It's like 680 80 mil or something. And what was the casualty uh, for, you know, this grind bidding up to this? I know for a fact I've used around 200,000 blood runes. Because I've, I've been doing a lot of rune crafting. I started with 250k in the bank. I probably made at least 50k. So yeah, 300,000 blood runes. Over 200 hours for, for this bad boy. God dang. Alright guys, now that I've got a drop, let me show you guys the uh, loot with the skirt here. Um, yeah, this is it. Now we have 700 logged with a unique item. Looks good. But yeah, this skirt is uh, actually about 680 mil. So if I was a main, I did sell it, right? We'd be talking uh, for about 200 or so hours, roughly uh, work. It would be about 3 mil an hour averaged out but i used a ton of supplies so it's probably like two mil an hour for me you know what's good too the crush accuracy is gonna be really nice on these husks and on the parasites because they're all weak to crush so damn bro oh my god i mean this must be dude the scythe is so much more accurate here wow bro imagine getting the, the other, the, the top two as well, and getting another uh, 12 accuracy, it was gonna be nuts, man. I'm just getting like 200 XP drops all the time, dude. It's crazy. Oh my god, dude. It's so good. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Oh, that's also nice, too. Whenever I do autos with the uh, God Sword, right before the dive, my chain skirt gives it a nice 12 accuracy on my God Sword Crush, so. Good luck. Oh my god, I just PB'd. <laughs> Already, bro. I was telling you guys, man. I was telling you guys, like, this skirt is actually, you know, making, making some real differences here, dude. Oh, 416 XP drop. Oh my god, what are these hits? Oh my god, 437. I've seen it all, bro. And, and with a max hit of 48 in there. So things are going to start getting a little bit confusing because the Nightmare update just happened after this part of the video. So that means all the drops are effectively uh, about 40% less rare than it used to be. But I'm going to keep it pretty simple. Effectively, it's now going to take me about 40 hours on average to get a unique soloing and that's as fast as it'll get as an Iron Man. Slightly so in groups. So this definitely changes my plans quite a lot because uh, with the previous rates, I was only going to go for two drops. But now that they've effectively half the rates and making it twice as common, I think I should probably bump it up to three to four items. So let's just say for now, I'm going to go for four items because I would be spending just about the same amount of time on average anyways. My solos from before are quite different drop rate wise, so I've done about what seems to be 400 or so solos pre-change. Yo, this is insane. I just uh, did this part of the Parasite phase with three doses of bomb. That's nuts. Oh, there goes the fourth Parasite. Wow. Holy crap. This could be a PB to be honest. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's that's a that's a crazy PB. 1713. Okay. Alright. Now I can actually start playing the game again. So there's a bunch of goals on this account that I haven't completed, but I would say the most urgent thing outside of Nightmare for me is probably the pet stuff. So I wanna do what I usually do when I come back uh, for an update. It's to do some pet hunting on the side. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of Slayer, so I can see if I can get the pets. So I'm going to be working alongside that mostly, while I grind my Nightmare item. So it's like 50-50. Um, so Hunlift, I want to work on some of that as well. That's not a Slayer task or anything, so I have to actually just you know actively go ahead and do these when I feel like it. And another thing that I want to do that isn't Slayer, that I think will ho hopefully be very quick, is actually get a second pair of Vandos boots, because... Right now I only have one, so I need at least one Banos Boots for the Master Clues 
uh, emote clue. And unfortunately, Guardian Boots don't work, so it has to be a Banos Boot. So, I want to make Guardian Boots because it's, you know, best in slot. I have the core in my bank, I'll show you, for a long time now, and yeah, I just can't do anything with it. So, yeah, I want to get another pair of Banos Boots so that way I can make the Guardian Boots. But that's pretty much the plan for this return. Nightmare stuff, mostly pet hunting, and trying to get a second pair of Banos Boots. Alright, it's time to go back to doing some pet hunting on the side, man. Haven't done it in a while, so looking forward to see how many pets we can get before our eventual break once again, but... Oh my god! No! 74, 62? I was so close, man. Oh, 72, 66. Oh my god, that was so close. That was 136 damage, wow. Oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, I forgot what it's like to get drops, you know. So it's time for me to uh, get back into doing some bandos. I just want to get better at the melee method because, yeah, I haven't really done a whole lot of melee bandos in a while. Alright, I think I'm going to teleport out. You know what, 11 kills on my first first try back. I, I, I'm happy with that. Alright, so it's time to do some bandos again. Mixing between uh, melee and magic, but... Yeah, magic subs pretty much the same as before when I last did it, except Brimstone Rain happened. Oh, what? I just got a Bandos so, Hilt. Okay. First trip back at Bandos. We get our second Hilts ever. So having a second Bandos Godstore is actually pretty good because my original one is in the hidey holes, so it's annoying to take that out sometimes when I need it. So yeah, man, this is a good one to have in the bank. Oh shit, hell yeah. Uh, that's awesome, bro. We already got Archer Swing on our first DK's test back. What in the... Okay, interesting. I guess we have a solo Rexer. Yo, nostalgic as fuck, bro. Okay, we just reached 3,000 Prime KC. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, I just hit 3,000 Supreme KC. Nice. Not bad. Six mil. All right, let's let's find out. Does this reset late skull? Oh, it does. Ha ha ha, Jagex. You may have gotten rid of the skull from Clan Wars, but you didn't get rid of the skull for Gauntlet. Easy. Alright, let's see what this one is, boys. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely consider giving it a like. I'm assuming you did because you made it to the end. But yeah, it would help out a lot in promoting this video. But anyways... Thank you guys so much for watching. I do have a French chat, so if you guys need a place to hang out, definitely consider joining ours at Mr. Iron Bar. And also, consider subscribing. That way you won't miss on future videos. And if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye-bye.